now we will study electric field due to dipole and the position we are taking is neither on the axial line nor on the equatorial line but at any general point we will try to find out an expression which will give us general point means what p is a general point p is a general point which is at a position vector r this and this position vector r makes an angle theta with dipole moment p what is the direction of dipole moment minus 2 plus so this is direction of dipole moment and this r makes an angle theta so what is the specification of p at a distance r making angle theta so these are the two things which are known to us for the location of p and we have to find out what should be electric field at p in terms of r and theta okay for this we take help of earlier two results we know the dipole moment and electric field due to dipole moment on axial line and on equatorial line so we do this shortcut how we know that here is dipole moment is a vector quantity and that vector quantity can be represented by a this arrow graphically we can represent this is what p now what i do in place of taking this p i take its two components one component in this direction what will be that component draw a perpendicular here and this is that component draw a perpendicular here and this is the component this is the total component this one this component of p in this direction of r so we will call it component p which is along the direction r or we can say parallel to r now where is the other component answer this is the other component this so this is basically p this i have resolved into two components one is this one is this this is p parallel and this is p perpendicular parallel to r perpendicular to r so this p is now divided into these two what do i want to do what is our line of action in place of finding electric field due to this original p i will find out electric field due to this component then i will find out electric field due to this component and then i will add up the two electric fields here that will give the electric field due to complete p so this is our line of action so now i have to find out electric field due to p parallel and electric field due to p perpendicular and that will give me the total of electric field due to this p so we will start it this way and whatever we have done first we will write it in one sentence so the dipole moment p is resolved into two components one along r one along r this is theta so what will be the magnitude of p parallel p cos theta one will be normal to r this and how much this will be p sin theta okay so this i have written now uh, along the r perpendicular to r this is we have done so far now we will find out electric field due to both so electric field due to electric field due to p parallel now don't see this don't see this see only this much there is a dipole which has a moment this red line and there is a point p you remember which situation it is if this is p and this is the line then we will call it axial line for this p the same line is equatorial line for this p am i clear see again for this line this is equatorial line and for this red p this is axial line 
so now if i am calculating electric field due to this component then i should use the formula for axle line and what was the formula for axle line that was 2p upon r cube 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught but here p does not have full value it has a partial value what is that p cos theta so this is e due to p parallel why axle line for this it is on the axle line then e due to p perpendicular for this p it is on the equatorial line so i will use the formula 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught component of the p which component p sin theta p sin theta divided by r cube this you have done earlier this is 2 p this is 1 p and here p value is p cos theta and for this equatorial it is p sin theta now this are electric field what is the direction of electric field here for that i remind you for axle line what is the direction we remembered it is along p this is the p for this axle line effect so this is the direction of this electric field due to p parallel i will write it e parallel now this p perpendicular this is on the equatorial line and what we remember for equatorial line direction of E is opposite to P. If P is in this direction then electric field will be in this direction opposite to this. So here it is opposite to this and it is a bit small. Why small? Because it is 1 P. The rest depend upon theta anyway. So this is E on equatorial line. So we have 1 e this, 1 e this, this has got magnitude this much, this has got magnitude this much and due to our earlier training, earlier lesson, we could find these magnitudes and these directions at point P. If these are the two electric fields at point P, we can always find out a resultant. How do we find out a resultant? We complete the parallelogram and this diagonal this diagonal this gives us e resultant e resultant at the point p now how much is this e resultant so this we can write here e resultant is equal to these two are making right angle to each other so this will be very simply square root of square of this plus square of this. So this is square of this plus square of this. I will go straight writing the square. This square will be this whole square. E resultant is equal to square root of square of the first term 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2 p cos theta upon r cube square of this plus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught p sin theta upon r cube square of this second term. This square, this square, square root of the 2. Now, this and this are common. Their square is common, comes out of the square root and what we get here is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. Your mathematics will confirm it. R cube square, R cube square is common, taken out of this square root. So we get here R cube. They come out. Again, P square, P square taken common, coming out, this will be P. Now what remains inside is cos theta square, 2 square, so 4 cos square theta plus sin square theta. And now you all know that sin square theta plus cos square theta. 
that is equal to 1. So, this we can write as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught p upon r q and this will be 1 plus 3 cos square theta. 1 cos square theta and 1 sin square theta makes 1 and this is our E resultant. This is magnitude of E resultant. This is answer. Then what should be its direction? For the direction, we have to first fix up a reference line. Here we fix up, we have two reference lines. One is P, one is R. So here R is easier to find out as to make as a reference line. So this is our reference line R and this resultant makes certain angle with R. Let us say this angle is alpha. So this resultant makes angle alpha with R. This resultant makes angle alpha with position vector r and now we have to find out value of alpha. So for value of alpha we write we take that triangle. In this triangle C this represents E parallel and this is E normal. If I draw a line here this is equal to this so this is also E normal. This is E resultant of course. So tangent of alpha is perpendicular upon base. So here I have tangent alpha tangent alpha is equal to E perpendicular divided by E parallel. Now how much is E perpendicular? E due to P perpendicular is this. So this is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught P sin theta upon R cube and E parallel will be this. You can cancel out here everything and what will be remaining? It will remain here E parallel sin theta and here it will be 2 cos theta. You can make it E parallel upon rest everything will be cancelled. So this is equal to half 10 theta. So tan alpha is equal to half tan theta. Let us jump here. Tan alpha is equal to half tan theta. Theta is the angle of position vector with P. The resultant will be in such a direction that alpha with R will maintain this relation half of tan theta. So we can always find out alpha with, the, with reference to R vector. This is equal to tan inverse half tan theta. This. So this is how we can find out direction of the resultant with respect to position vector. So now you get for any general point this is magnitude, this is direction. Want to test it? Yes. If it is an axial position, suppose P is here, this is an axial position. What is value of theta? The theta will be 0 and you put 0 here. If you put 0 here, cos 0 is 1, this will be 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 square root is 2 and this will be 2P upon R cube and we know that that is the electric field at the axial line. If you want it on equatorial line, theta will be 90, this will become 0, root 1 will be 1, this will be 1P upon R cube, we have learned that is on the equatorial line. So this is a general formula which will fit on axial line, on equatorial line, on any general angle making theta. So this is known as general formula for electric field due to a dipole and accordingly we can find out alpha for uh, that resultant electric field. So this is electric field due to dipole in any conditions. Thank you.